Greetings. Welcome to our crowdfunding campaign for Burma, for global human rights, for the people of this ancient mystical land that's in turmoil after five decades of totalitarian tyranny. It's also a campaign to change Burma's constitution created by the military itself that enshrines the military. It bans women from holding high office. It also bans Aung San Suu Kyi herself, a member of parliament and Burma's Nobel Peace Laureate, from running for the presidency in the upcoming elections. For 17 years, I'd been blacklisted from the country of Burma based upon a book that I co-authored with Aung San Suu Kyi. Recently, I was unbanned or unblacklisted and based upon the goodness of the people who supported our campaign last year, I went back to Burma for three months and traveled 4,000 miles and along with volunteers filmed close to 100 interviews of compelling dialogue with former political prisoners and teachers and farmers and democratic leaders on the nature of what it meant to employ nonviolence and the power of love to confront injustice. Prior to going though, I met Aung San Suu Kyi and it was the first time that I had spoken to her in 17 years. The essence of our communication was this. If you come back, and this means anyone, I think, about anything to do with caring or the courage to care about things larger than our own self-interest, she said, if you come back, ask what can you do to help the people of my country? And with that in mind, we were funded, we went back, we filmed, we talked, we traveled, we cried. It was a mystical experience and we have all this material. Many, many millions of people in Burma have never met Aung San Suu Kyi. They've never met U Win Tain or U Tin U or any number of other elected leaders and journalists and artists and dancers and musicians and farmers and students, many of them former political prisoners. They've never met these people. Please help us develop this interactive multimedia website to make this treasure trove of digital materials available freely for the people of Burma to hear their leaders speak about revolution of the heart, a change of consciousness. Please help us bring these voices to the people where it matters. And to support, truly, a free and fair election in 2015. Aung San Suu Kyi has recently called upon people of the world to stand in solidarity, to pressure the leaders of her country to change this constitution now. Otherwise, there will be no free and fair election. There will be no democracy. Thank you from my heart.